Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of new grooming brushes in Ornatrix version 3. We have this great athletic female model provided to us by Turbo Squid, and you can see that we have some uh, hair set up that we've uh, set up a little bit in previous tutorials. And I'm just going to add in an edit guides modifier. So I'll click on add edit guides and we'll go into brushes. If I scroll down to the brushes, you can see that there are two new brushes here uh, in Ornatrix version 3, and that's the smooth and the restore brush. And these are pretty cool brushes. Uh, a lot of people asked for them in uh, our beta and in our user requests. So if I just go ahead and kind of brush this hair a little bit, I may go in and make some changes. And of course, you know, maybe those changes aren't desirable or what have you, and I don't have enough undos or things like that. So I can go in and I can grab my restore brush and I can just kind of paint that hair right back into place. Now uh, that's actually, you know, one certainly good workflow is if I, you know, didn't want something to happen, I can use the restore brush. It can also be good to be used uh, in conjunction with what you're uh, sculpting or for your hair. So if I go in and I make some changes here, maybe I'm pretty happy with these changes down at the bottom, but not so much here at the top, kind of got rid of that knot. What I could do is I can go and use the restore brush I'm going to bring the strength uh, way down here. So let's just go to a, a point 0.1 and I'm going to maybe zoom out a little bit and just kind of tap in a little so that I can ease this in like so. So now I've kind of ha still have that change and I've eased in the restore of that point there. So that can certainly be pretty useful. For instance, again, if I go up here and I make some changes and I kind of like what's going on there. I've made a good change there, but it has kind of affected over here. I can go into my restore brush and restore that portion of it. And there I'm kind of happy with both of my edits. Now the next brush that I wanted to look at is the smooth brush. So in your edits, you may kind of go down, we'll go down in this ponytail and make some edits here. We'll kind of move it around and maybe crunch it up a little bit. Although we're pretty happy with the shape of what we're doing, we can go in and use that smooth brush. Again, I might use uh, a lower strength. So uh, just if you didn't remember, the hotkeys for brush size are just holding down shift and adjusting the size and shift alt will adjust that brush strength up or down. So you can just use that to bring that brush strength kind of down. So for smooth, I'm gonna use a pretty low brush strength here and I'll go in and adjust the size and I can just kind of tap that off in order to smooth out that hair that I made there and that adjustment that I made there. So, you know, if there was some sort of kinking up here, um, I could go in and there maybe I did a little bit too much. So I'll go in and I'll use my restore in there and I'll go back to smooth and I'll bring that brush strength down with shift alt. So I'm going to bring it down uh, just to a 0.2 and just kind of tap that a couple times to smooth out what I want. If I go up here and maybe with uh, this brush, I'll bring that strength up a little bit. So maybe I make some some kind of changes in here. I'm just not happy with how smooth that happens to be. I can go in with my smooth brush and I'll bring the strength down quite a bit. Similar to working in ZBrush or other tools, uh, sometimes the, you know, the smooth brush can over smooth. So you do want to use it with a um, pretty low strength in a lot of cases so that you don't over smooth in other areas and that can be the case too with our restore. So those are two hopefully pretty useful tools uh, in your grooming the restore brush and the smooth brush. Hopefully those help you to groom your uh, character's hairstyles using Ornatrix. Thank you very much.